In last week's blog, called Hate, we were looking at the power of words and just what an impact they can have on our water cells and the fascinating work that Dr. Emoto has done in his studies. We're all about 50 to 65% made up of water. So now's the time to start sending the love we need and deserve to ourselves, to our bodies, and then to start to emanate this into our world around us. We do live in a very outwardly focused society for all of us, but even more primarily, the younger people in society are bombarded with images that they can at times feel driven to aspire to. This is an issue for all of us, as lots of the images are not a true life image. They've been edited and enhanced. But even though we know this on one level, that doesn't often stop us from comparing ourselves to them. And this in turn can make us feel inadequate about who we are. The knock-on effect is that our confidence and self-esteem will be lowered. But at the worst, it can make us dysmorphic to how we look, which can lead to lots of issues. The extremes of this will be things like anorexia, severe insecurities, Obsessions with beauty procedures are just a few. This is because we've become so over-focused on ourselves, we're not seeing things in their true perspective. As we continue to over-focus, we enhance those feelings of not feeling good enough. And then in turn, the more negative messages we then send ourselves lead then to the increased feelings of negativity about ourselves and how we look and how we feel. This can become a real negative spiral that just increasingly compounds how we feel about ourselves, knocking our confidence and lowering our self-esteem. What we all need to do is to learn to love ourselves for who we are. And if we're not being that nice to ourselves, then this is something we need to change. One of the experiments by Dr. Emoto into how the water crystals transformed after they'd been prayed to by the Buddhist priest is a great example to us to see that we don't have to continue to carry those negative emotions. Whether it be how we look about and feel about our bodies, our faces, our personalities, our intelligence, or whatever aspect we are down on about ourselves. If we start to send ourselves more positive messages, then we can change the way we feel about ourselves. Life is a balance between striving to be the best version of ourselves and not expecting too much of ourselves. It's great to work at who we are and look to challenge ourselves in positive ways. But if we set the bar too high, it can become detrimental and not help us make those positive changes that we'd hope to make. It's great to take time to take stock about who we are and how we feel about ourselves. This can give us time to reflect on what we can strive to change and what is not achievable. If we're always putting ourselves down, this is something then we need to stop as this will only lower our confidence and stop us from feeling happy and secure in who we are. Now is the time to listen to our own language we have with ourselves and make changes to those negative patterns we're in. From now on, if you find yourself putting yourself down, I want you to stop and just apologise to yourself. You can do this out loud or just in your head. What we need to say is, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean that. It's just a bad habit that I've been in, but I'm choosing to stop this. I think you're great and I choose to send you these loving messages from now on. Each time we do this, we're setting a new way of thinking and behaving. Over time, we will work our way out of putting ourselves down and start giving ourselves positive praise instead. The next thing we can do is spend a bit more time every night as we go to sleep and just give ourselves praise for the day, for what we've maybe achieved, um, 
value how we maybe dealt with the situation or how we've handled parts of the day. The other thing we can do if we're struggling with self-image issues is to take the time to send our bodies love. As we fall asleep, this is a powerful time for our minds to absorb the messages we send ourselves. So doing this at bedtime takes advantage of this. We can imagine that we're writing the words of love all over our bodies, concentrating on the parts of us that we feel the most negative about. We can also do this when we put body cream on or when we're in the shower. And we can send that loving message to our bodies. And as we do these things every day, we start to help us change how we feel about ourselves. On the app, you can use the confidence building hypnosis session and start boosting your confidence about how you feel about yourself. If you're on social media and have lots of images that bombard you in your feeds, then maybe if they're making you feel inadequate, then maybe it's time to unfollow or mute those posts. Instead, you could find more realistic images and posts about how people look and who people are and start putting how we feel about ourselves in a better perspective. If we take the time to be kinder to ourselves and in fact, everything and everybody around us, we will feel better just by doing this. Positivity breeds positivity. Negativity breeds negativity. Make these choices to choose what we bring into our lives and what we put into our world around us. If we spend the time committing to change, then change will come our way. Make today the first day of self-love and spreading love and happiness all around you.